beautiful. Hey guys. So before filming this, I, I actually spent the entire morning editing one of my videos. And as I was doing that, you know, I was looking around my desk and I realized that it was a complete disaster. And part of that disaster was a pile of puzzles sat next to me that I actually haven't shared with you. And these are ones that I've collected over the last couple months that weren't necessarily in any of my shop with me videos. Now hit that like button if you're like me and you tend to kind of develop piles of puzzle sets throughout your room or throughout the house. I have a terrible habit of letting that happen and I, I need to get busy organizing again. But anyways, so I figured, you know what, why not share it with you guys and kind of go over some plans that I have for the very near future. And really all of these are very exciting. I don't even know what to start with right now because it's just, it's, it's beautiful. But I think the first thing to start with here is probably one that, for one, it's not the season for it yet, but who cares? I can't wait to get it open and kind of like get a feel for what it's gonna be like. But anyways, what I'm talking about is a brand new set that was sent to me from Pintu. They had actually reached out to me and were like, hey, you wanna check out our new advent calendar? And I was like, yeah. So I think it was last week or two weeks ago, they sent me their brand new 2023 Christmas advent calendar. And this is Pintu's very first advent calendar. Now this is too exciting for me because for one, I've never had a puzzle advent calendar. And what better brand to try than Pintu? I love Pintu, they're still my absolute favorite puzzle. And what's even more fantastic about this is not only do you get little puzzle sets throughout some of the days within this calendar, you're also part of a Christmas journey. It's a whole story that Pintu have created that goes along with your advent calendar. So, you know, you're getting puzzles, a story, a journey. It's, it's all these things in one. And I mean, look at this box. This looks absolutely fantastic. They really put tons of thought into this product. Now for the month of September, Pintu are actually having an early bird sale on this. And I'm gonna leave a couple links down below, one for USA and one for Canada, where you can order one of these sets for yourself. And because I am collaborating with Pintu on their new product, if you use those links, it will help support my channel. And I do plan to create shorts and other videos featuring this item because there's just so much to it. So yeah, this is gonna really get me in super into the Christmas spirit. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is something that I had no clue about. My puzzle pal Christy had emailed me in a frenzy, all excited about this new item that she saw at the store. And not only did she inform me about it, but she sent me several sets. So thank you again, Christy, because I have three of the sets to start my collection of the Silver Select Edition of not only Buffalo, but Seiko. And the first one she sent me, this one is called Confection Street. It is 1,000 pieces. It's 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And the image is by Charles Wasaki. I love Charles Wasaki. And I was instantly transported into this image. If you guys have been here long enough, you know how I am about food and puzzles. And what's great about this image as well is that it literally features just about all of my favorite foods. I know that if I was walking down that street, I'd probably spend the entire day there, maybe two days, I don't know. And then as I said, it wasn't, you know, she sent me three sets. This one is called Wine Country Living. It is 1000 pieces and it is 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And this one is Seiko's Silver Select Edition. And the artwork is by Thomas Kincaid, which I have to say, when it comes to ranking my favorite artist, Thomas Kincaid is number one for me. But this image is so gorgeous. That's my house. And of course, I'm gonna have a beautiful vineyard in front of it. I feel like this image is gonna be quite a challenge to complete, but it's absolutely beautiful and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then what blew my mind even more was that she found that Seiko Silver Select Edition also had Disney Thomas Kincaid images. 
and the one she sends me is called Maleficent. It is also 1,000 pieces, and it is also 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. Now, what intrigues me more about this is that not only is this a new Thomas Kincaid Disney image, I've never seen this one before, but the fact that now that Seiko was bought by Buffalo, which was something else I didn't know, again, I'm like the last person to know anything, it makes me wonder if the quality of these pieces are any different compared to the typical Disney Seiko sets. I mean, I don't know, we'll see, right? It could just be the fact that, you know, it's a fancy looking box. All these silver select edition sets do come what they call giftable packaging with silver foil accents. There's an insert here where the, you know, it slides out and it just looks super fancy. But again, does this mean that there's any changes to the overall quality of these pieces? I have no idea. But I am going to find out because I am currently trying to work on Confection Street as my first Silver Select experience. Now, if any of you have tried any of Buffalo's or Seiko's Silver Select Edition sets, let me know down below what have your overall experiences been like with it. Are, is the quality better? Does it suck even more? You know, I'm curious to find out because, you know, I do anything to put together a Disney Thomas Kincaid set that doesn't, you know, crumble into a million, million pieces for me. I know the Seiko 1500 piece set that I did was actually pretty solid and held on beautifully, but their 1000 piece sets and the 750 piece sets, you know, the ones that I have tried, they, they're just not great. So we'll see, right? I'm, I'm on a mission to find out. So you'll be seeing that video soon. Now, the next puzzle that I wanna share with you here is one that I'm super looking forward to because not only is it a Halloween puzzle, which is very fitting for the current season, but it's a wooden puzzle. And this one was sent to me by Susan M. So thank you for this because I've never tried a wooden puzzle from Liberty Puzzles before. And Susan sent me the Mystic Light of Halloween. And this image is super cute. It is 7.75 inches by 12.5 inches when it's completed. And this one has a puzzle count to it. It's 211 pieces. And Susan spoke very highly of this brand. And I know a number of you did as well, because I've only tried, as you saw in one of my last videos, the Timu sets. And I wanted my next experience to be, you know, a wooden puzzle from another brand. So this is super exciting because she did say that it was going to be quite a challenge. And I kind of want to see real quick. I, I didn't open it yet because, you know, I like to, you know, open things on camera so you can get like my, you know, genuine initial reactions. And she said it was going to be challenging and she was not kidding. Oh my goodness. What is this? Susan, what are you doing to me? We got witches, we got pumpkins, we got spiders, and some, some crazy looking wobbly pieces here too. This is, um, yeah, this is gonna be hard. My mind is a blur now. I, I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit. Really, as, as terrified as I am right now looking at this, this looks insanely cool. I'm looking forward to this. So thank you, Susan, for sending me something that's probably gonna make me pull my hair out but at the same time, I think I think this is going to be a fun challenge. Now, the next one that I have here, I actually bought this on eBay. And this is, you know, a pretty much a typical Buffalo set. This one is called Pete's Gambling Hall. It is 1000 pieces and it is 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. And the artwork is by Charles Vasaki. Now, I love this image. And I'm pretty sure I've mentioned many times before, one of my favorite time periods to learn about is pretty much like the cowboys and the pioneers and all that kind of stuff. So this image really gives me Oregon Trail feels. I love Oregon Trail. And what I also love about this is that it's it gives me very much of a fall feeling as well. You have the leaves in the background changing color. So this is totally a fall puzzle. You know I'm doing this very, very soon. And this isn't gonna be just any puzzling video. This is gonna be a challenge. Well, kind of. Who challenged me? What's the challenge? I'm not telling you. You're just gonna have to wait and see. Now, the next two puzzle sets that I have here are both from Masterpieces. 
And these were actually gifted to me by my husband. This one is called Las Vegas Living. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 26.75 by 19.25 inches when it's completed. And this is from Masterpieces Colorscapes collection. And I don't own any colorscape puzzles. And what's interesting about this as well is that it says on the top here that these are linen puzzles. And I'm not actually sure if I have any puzzles that have like that linen finish to them. But if not, now I do. And I think I know why he bought me this particular set. Because I think he got all sentimental about Las Vegas because that was our honeymoon. It was so much fun. We ate so much food, it was ridiculous. Obviously, we've been sitting at this table here, but you know, I just had to get up quickly and admire the view. And then once I snap a few pictures, we'll sit back down and finish our wine and enjoy the rest of the night. What a beautiful image and what an amazing use of colors here. I guess that's why they call it colorscapes, right? But I am really looking forward to putting this one together and hopefully go back to Las Vegas one day. But anyways, the next one that my husband gifted to me another time is another masterpiece set. And this one is called America the Beautiful. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 34.65 by 22.09 inches when it's completed. So this is a bigger image here. And this looks to be part of the Contours collection. And what's also super amazing about this particular set is that it's in the shape of the United States. Like that's the actual shape of the puzzle. I don't have anything like this. And what's even more amazing is that these are not only your typical jigsaw puzzle pieces, but it has a few special shape pieces here as well. And the image is fantastic. It's just that Americana vibe. It's also very Charles Wasaki-ish to me. This one also kind of gives me like the feel of fall as well. I don't know why, maybe it's the apples that I see here. And you also have this area up on the Northeast of like, you know, the leaves changing colors. But yeah, this one is gonna be a lot of fun to put together. And of the two masterpieces sets that he gave me, I think this is gonna be the first one that I tried because it's super cool. He's so thoughtful. So yeah, that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Eight new puzzle sets that I need to find a home for. And not only that, eight new puzzle sets that I will be filming in the near future. So if you're new here, and if you wanna see what I have to say about any of these sets, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna share any of your own puzzle hauls or anything about puzzles that you've completed or are working on, I do have a puzzling community that you can join. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box that will take you directly to the join link. So anyways, guys, I hope you are all doing well. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Now I gotta go figure out where I'm gonna put all these.